Welcome to Day in the Life of Me, Sumed Basani. Today is Memorial Day. We're gonna start off with an agency call. We're gonna go to MMA later. We may potentially have a meeting for marketing. I'm not sure if that'll show up. I'm probably gonna finish up with some food. So let's get it. What is up guys, we are here at the gym right now. It's good to, to get a workout in even on days like this because you're obviously staying disciplined, which is the name of the game when it comes to a sport like this. up with MMA, getting a little bit of a workout in. Now it's time to head back, hop on a marketing call in the car, and then see what the business schedule has for us. So, let's talk about making an Indian omelet. I'm gonna break a couple eggs up. I always put my eggs back in the car, and people, people yell at me for this, like, why would you do that? Here are the seasonings that we have. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add in our ginger garlic paste. We're gonna add in um, adobo, a bit of ground cumin, turmeric, but chili powder adds a huge kick to the whole flavor. And then we're also gonna add a little bit of onion powder in there, because onion powder is dope. Perfect. Got a couple of onions here, okay. We're gonna get cilantro leaves, right? Where's cilantro leaves at? Cilantro leaves. So, it goes in. Now we've got some potatoes that I cooked the other day. We're gonna warm these up. But an Indian egg is nothing crazy. It's very, sim it's very simple. It's not something that you have to overdo. And at the end of the day, it has a great, great, great flavor to it. I guess it's like an acquired taste, but obviously I love it. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Don't worry guys, it's all good. Ground beef. Indians don't eat beef, by the way. For this particular recipe, we're gonna have beef in there, okay? Now this is very taboo in Indian culture, but it is what it is. And this is totally fucked up. Nothing, it's somber rice, and just potatoes and protein. Awesome, perfect. We're gonna go ahead and jump right on in, so. Coming in at number three, we have we have Mr. Mahdi Delshad at fourteen thousand four hundred forty-four dollars of business. Let's go ahead and rack up these number number two here. Coming in at number two, we have Mr. Wyatt at nineteen thousand seventy-eight dollars of business. And there can only be one number one. We have Jerron Brown at twenty-five thousand nine hundred and six dollars of business. Everybody, hear me? Thumbs up. Listen, this is a holiday for veterans that fought for our country. This ain't time for you to go cook out and drink and get blacked out. I'm keeping it real with you. The first thing that you do when you get on the phone, what are we doing, guys? What's the first thing that we're doing when we get on the phone today? What are we saying, guys? Anybody, give it to Happy me. Memorial Day. Exactly. Happy, Happy Memorial, Day. Memorial Day. This is a day where you can literally print money. Print money. Let's crush some dials a day. Let's get ahead. Let's print money. And then uh, let's get it from here. All right, guys? So guys, that was an agency call. I love firing the guys up on a Monday. Today's Memorial Day, which means that everybody's having fun, everybody's relaxing, but not for our business. There are no days off when you are a winner. There are no days off when you are a champion. The days off are when you're injured or when you've got some health problems. That's it. The top 1% is $34,000 a month. My top guys are clearing that. And I love to say that because it makes me proud as a business owner that I'm able to put people in that position. Uh, 
Just got done the haircut, man. I feel fresh. You know when you got that new cut on, you you feel like you could actually conquer the world? Well, that's how I feel right now. I have a few other things I gotta run to, so let's go. All right. We are at the flats in Cleveland. We're about to check out the location for our next event. Nothing confirmed. We're just gonna talk to one of the partners here and see how it goes. And so I'd love to throw our next ThoughtCast social right here. This would be First sick time. here. I'll teach the class. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Namaste. You're a real yoga instructor. I fucking kill it. So being from Indian origin, I'm naturally plus five acceleration in yoga. Stamina. And stamina. Oh really like a coaching and consulting podcast is for mental health. Uh, we have a huge following on social media. We have like 950,000 on TikTok alone. We have uh, over a million on Spotify and Apple. I throw these events, I invite a lot of people out. There's no agenda to the event at all. There's no like thing that we're selling. We're just like, hey, we like bringing people together for a good time and that's really it. What's the earliest that you have in July? Cause I- Also super quick. That's all I need is a month, so yeah. Looks like I have the 11th. Let's do that. Yeah, you email me your information, I'll plug it in for the 11th and we'll be in great shape. So yeah, uh, appreciate it. Sure. That's all it is, man. Yeah. Thank you, man. Great, I got the 11th. July 11th, you ready? You ready, Dom? You better be <laughs> ready, dude. God willing. Let's bounce, Dom. Yeah, let's get out of here. So we just got done with our meeting in the flats here in Cleveland. We're gonna be throwing our event July 11th, that's a Thursday. It's gonna be a lot of fun, single, Summer soiree. Summer single soiree? Single summer soiree. I don't even know. So, I don't know when this video will be released, but invite all your friends. And uh, yeah, I love the ThoughtCast socials. They're definitely different. Yeah. Um, I got a product I want to partner up with you, man. I want to give you a cut of it to market. Well, Let's talk. Let's you, do it. You got my, get my number from me. Yeah, just take it right now. Cool. I'll take it right now. Yeah. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it, man. You want one? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what's your number? Yeah, I'll send you the whole contact card. That way you got it all. Uh, let me go here. Boom, bro. I got you. Sweet. Just text me. Yeah. Cool, brother. Good I'll see you. you. Yes, sir. Yep. See you later. We're going to be doing our group coaching call with my private coaching group at Thoughtcaster. You're going to be seeing a little bit of what I talk about. We're going to jump in here. We're going to let some people fill in. And then we're just going to start this live in my, in my living room here. So uh, let's get it. Like, for example, I'm a man and the girl is saying, you know, I, I became someone completely different for you. It's a good thing if you became someone completely different. And it's, it's considered so bad in society today. The girl I'm talking to is a smoker, hypothetically, right? I wouldn't talk to her because there's a lack of compatibility there. I could sit here and say, oh, I've changed so much for her, but I didn't change things that were like who I am, if that makes sense. Well, smoking was a vice. She's from California. When the relationship ends, she's like, yeah, I went back and did it, and I'm not gonna change that anymore. Like these vices that she just jumped back into, she genuinely didn't appreciate you changing these things about her. But appreciate you guys, love you guys, and I will talk to you guys soon. So, we just got done our coaching call. I do about two of those a week. If you guys ever wanna learn more about my coaching program, the link is in the bio of this video. I'll talk to you one-on-one -on -one to see if I'm a good fit for you and you're a good fit for me. And if we are, we can definitely talk about options of how I can mentor you and coach you. Uh, I wanna show you a little bit about our stock trades that we have in our actual group. So, I called a Microsoft order yesterday. Feel free to look at this video on May 13th or May 15th, where Microsoft is at. Microsoft is up now, so I told the guys to trim a little bit of Microsoft. And also, I called the GameStop and the AMC call the day before, and people were able to make a lot of money from that in the group. So, being in the group not only is there to help you in different areas in terms of mindset, business, and lifestyle, but it's also designed to teach you about what I do with my daily stock trades. And I've been trading stocks for 12 years now. I work with a lot of Wall Street guys. This particular one was high risk, and I put it in here because it was such a gamble, and I wanted to let people know. So 100% a gamble. I do not recommend if you're new. However, this paid out a lot. Quick little win there for everybody that was involved. And it's these small wins on a day-to-day -day basis of 100 200 $300 that really bring a lot of value to all the members in the group. So I want to run to the Audi dealership because I want to see uh, if there's any new vehicles that they have. And uh, I'm, I'm in the market for a new car. So um, let's head over there. All right, guys, we're at the Audi dealership. I'm gonna check out if they got a couple cars. I'm interested in an RSQA, R7, and an S8. Let's see what they got.
So I got an offer from Mercedes-Benz for my Audi. What I'm looking at is a 2025 G63. That's probably the car I'm gonna go for. They don't have a lot of allocations, at least that's what they say, but you know, you know how it goes. Um, if I can find a new G2025 with the touchscreen, I'll probably get it. But with that being said, I'll keep you posted on what my thought process is as it evolves. Jasmine, what's going on? Hello? Yeah. You shouldn't have said that. Saying, do you really miss me is a weak text. I, oh, he just responded to me. Oh. You're giving him control. You can't do that. It's gonna backfire. I don't know now. Well, all you gotta do now, all you gotta do now is say, okay, I understand where you're at. Say that now. If I come to you as a guy like, do you love me? Do you care about me, Jasmine? Like, what about the other guy you fucked the other day? Like, like, like do you see how it sounds? <laughs> and now he's like, you know, I don't I'm know. Fighting. How. I'm not fighting with him. I'm not fighting. He says about fighting. I'm like fighting to him because you're not giving him what he wants. Oh, do you like? Can you call me for five minutes? I'm hey. actually at work. I'm actually waiting for my um for my colleague to come here. Say um, say you're at work and you're busy. But let me circle back with you later. I got to prep for this call, but I'll circle back with you later. Okay? So we coach clients on their situations. We try to give them as much information as possible. And sometimes you know people do their own thing. I can't always be there for every single second, but. Our coaching group is very immersive, and I work with people in a very immersive fashion. Sorry, I got food in my mouth. Depending on the situation, it varies on what you want to do in a relationship. All right, so my internet is out today, which has never happened since I've been here. So we're gonna go to a coffee shop and get some work done. Memorial Day, the coffee shop is closed, which sucks. So we're gonna go to the bar. It's not a day off, guys, we're working today. What up guys, we're at Town Hall, Ohio City. This is my spot to go to. Got to get some work done. Let's see the vibes. They have internet, which is great. It's not that busy as I thought it would be. You know, we're able to get some work done, so I'm gonna get back on my coaching clients and then plan this event that we have coming up on the 27th. All right guys, we just got done a long day of work at Town Hall, but I appreciate you guys joining me here today. If you guys haven't checked out my coaching program and you want one-on-one -on -one mentorship, click the link down below. Hit that bell notification to stay subscribed to all of our new content and check us out on Apple, Spotify. With that being said, guys, I appreciate you. I love you. And until next time, sue me out.